chairs, chairs, chairs. We will do have them everywhere. At home, in school, in the kindergarten, in an office. And of course, they invite us to take place. But in the meantime, we have a lot of management that the function of the chair is decisive concerning your physical and mental health and concerning your well-being. And the design of this cool chair is typical for most of the chairs. Uh, they do have a backwards inclination of the chair seat. They do have a seat pan. And this is really an old philosophy of sitting because those chairs invite you to take place and to lean back and to lean on, which means in that moment you are inactive. There is no muscular activity anymore. And when there is no muscular activity, that means there is no blood flow or let's say less blood flow. Less blood flow means less oxygen supply concerning your brain. Less muscular activity means there are no biochemical reactions, releases, which are enabled by muscular activity. And that will end in a body and mind fatigue. Those kind of chairs are called, in my way, stupid chairs, because they don't provide your brain to be alert. Students sitting on a rigid chair sometimes can be very active and adults basically are worrying about what they are doing. They are tilting backwards, they are tilting forward, working at a table. It is of high intelligence, of high somatic intelligence, because when they are working at a table, they have to shift forward. And they have two options on a stupid chair. One option is to bend the trunk to achieve the table desk. And the other option is, and you can watch it now, tilting forward to work at a table. And this is basically looking better concerning my postural health than that. The other side, when they are not working at a table, they lean back and tilt back and start to get active with their feet. Again, this behavior is of high intelligence because in an intuitive way, they open this angle to have more space for their internal organs to carry out the functionality. And on the other side, they bring the upper point of gravity behind the lower point of gravity which gives the postural organs an adequate rest. They can recover. When they take place like this, and they are not allowed to tilt back, which can be dangerous, they have this banded trunk position, and this really doesn't look very healthy. Therefore, sitting on a rigid chair is not the goal we are heading for. We are born to move regularly. We are not born to sit still for a longer time. What we really need is a chair which absorbs our activity. Therefore, I will show you another chair. For example, here we have a chair. This school chair you can have in different sizes. It has a flexible frame and a shell which is of polypropylene, which means it is more flexible. And the combination between a flexible frame and the polypropylene shell enables that when you sit down, you can carry out a natural behavior, you can carry out activity. Most of the time, you are sitting and you are working at a table, which means in that moment, when you're working at a table, there must be flexibility towards the front, what you can see here. 
when I'm working at a table now, I have all the flexibility towards the front. Therefore, I have a support when I'm leaning back and I have a support when I am tilting forward, shifting forward with a forward tilt of the back seat. In my words, this is a compromise because it offers only linear activities, back and forth, back and forth. What we really recommend as scientists today, you must have a chair design and a chair function which offers exactly that what you carry out when you are standing. The free flow of the pelvis enables healthy functions in your upper part of the body and in your lower part of the body. This chair has a special mechanic, which we call it's a 3D mechanic. This chair never restricts your spontaneous and intuitive behavior. This chair is always with you. When you take place, you can feel that now you can exactly do that, what you have done when you are standing. The pelvis is not restricted. You can carry out activities which are necessary while you are working, shifting forward. And now you have that adequate forward inclination of the chair seat and an adequate support of your pelvis while you're working at a table. And leaning back and have those activities because they are so important to support your organical functions with enough oxygen. All those activities you will carry out with your feet, they are important to activate your muscle pump in your lower legs because your muscle pump in your lower legs will bring the stored blood back into the circulation system which means now you have enough oxygen supply concerning your entire organs including your brain. Interrupt sitting as often you can. Maximum 20-30 minutes sitting then standing or moving around. Even a smart chair is a worse chair if you use it for hours.